Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, we're going to talk about the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and why it's still the best MacBook yet. So I've had this MacBook since more than a year right now, and I've got it some months after the release date. I didn't buy at the launch. Before this, I had, as you probably know, if you follow my channel, I've had the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip the standard one, the base M1 chip. But then using that laptop, I just realized that I needed like a little bit more power, especially I needed some other feature that the MacBook with the M1 didn't have. And it wasn't very a pro model, but this one, it is of course made for professionals. And so you have a full HDMI, free USB-C port, you have the MagSafe, you have an SD card reader that it is very, very convenient to have. Then you have a bigger screen, and a better screen because this one it does have a promotion screen and it is a mini led screen the quality is very very good i can assure you that and the brightness it is very good too and lastly it does have some very very good speaker but this is not the point because you already know the macbook pro with the m1 pro but now i'm gonna tell you why it's still one of the best laptop that you can get at the moment in my opinion first of all if you compare it to the newest MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro chip. The newest MacBook, it doesn't have that much advantage on the M1 Pro. And in fact, as I said in my previous video, if you didn't watch that, just go through my channel and watch the latest video on the newest rumors about the M3. And in fact, the M2 chip, it is an overclocked version of the M1 chip. So the M2 Pro, it is an M1 Pro, but overclocked. And that's basically it. And for the rest of the MacBook, it is pretty much the same one as this MacBook Pro from 2021. If you have to spend some money on a new MacBook, I will suggest you to do it on this one, or at least to wait a little bit more time for the newest M3. Anyway, as I said also in my previous video, between the M2 Pro and the M1 Pro, there isn't that much of a difference if we're talking about performance. So just take a look at some reviews online, some comparison, and you will see that there isn't that much of difference. So as I was saying, if you have to choose from the M1 Pro and the M2 Pro, I would suggest to buy an M1 Pro at the moment. And if you are lucky, you will find a very big discount on this product like I did more than a year ago, because I just paid this machine a lot less than the standard price, we can say. And still at the moment, the price, it is at the same level. So here I can add something more on why you have to buy maybe this product. So MacBooks or maybe Apple product in general, because year after year, they don't lose that much of a value. So for example, in a month or two, they release the newest M3 MacBook. I don't want my M1 Pro anymore and I want to change it for an M3. I'm just going to sell this one for a very, very great price. And I'm just going to buy the newest one with very few more euros. So that's very, very convenient in my opinion. So as you may know, I use my MacBook for my productivity work and mostly to edit my videos. So I will do pretty much any type of work on this machine. So 99% of my work has been done on my MacBook Pro and really it doesn't have a power limit in performance, we can say, because pretty much anything you throw at it it can handle with very ease. At least this is for my workflow. And the most important thing on why I'm using still this MacBook Pro, it is the balance that we have between performance and battery life. Because if you use this MacBook like they should be, so if you are traveling, if you are not at home, so if you are not plugged, the battery is really, really great. And still after a year, the battery, it is still one of the best thing on this laptop. Also, if you want to know how to extend your battery life on the MacBook, there is a video on my channel. And also I have tips and tricks that I can show you. If you want to just let me know it down below in the comments and just subscribe to this channel so you will not miss that video. Anyway, last feature we can say, or more like the why I am still using this MacBook Pro and why I think it's one of the best still. It's if you have an Apple ecosystem, so if you have different Apple devices. For example, I have my iPhone right here, I have my AirPods Pro, and I have my Apple Watch, and it is very convenient, especially if you are just filming, take photos with the iPhone. You just send it to the MacBook with very, very ease through AirDrop, 
you don't have pretty much any connectivity problems between connecting the AirPods from the iPhone to the MacBook. And I have a really, really working machine that I can take pretty much everywhere. And in the end, it is very, very travel friendly because maybe you don't know this, but I have also a Windows PC right here. It is a gaming PC that I've built personally, like the year before I bought this MacBook Pro. And it is still one of the most powerful PC, but in the end, it does have pretty much the same power that I have on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro. So it is really a convenient thing to have all this power and this battery life, as I said before, the, the very good screen, the very good speaker. So a really, really good package all in one for this price. I think for any professional out there, it is a best buy. And still at the moment, for me, it is still a best buy. These were my consideration. I hope you like it. If that was the case, just leave a like down below because it's free. And also don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already and just leave a comment if you want. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.